The long-awaited statue of Mary Seacole has finally been unveiled here in the garden of St Thomas's Hospital. Thank you very much. Well, back in 1980, I'd just become an MP in Hammersmith and a group of Caribbean women, or who had been born in the Caribbean, came to see me because they'd been born uh, in the Caribbean but come to Britain in 1939-40 to help us in the fight for freedom, as they called it. And they, uh, and they were incredibly important. They wanted to clean up the grave of Mary Seacole to them. They were saying there should be a statue, and I thought, they're right, there should be. Well, it's taken 12 and a half long, hard years, so it's just incredible. It's a day of celebration. I mean, along the way, as you probably know, I know you do know, there have been detractors who said that the statue shouldn't be here, that Mary Seacole's not a nurse, all sorts of really nasty stuff. But the same love that she showed when she came here and she was told she couldn't go to the Crimea, she just decided that out of love, she would go and do her best. And that's what's happened here. Out of love, the people of London, in fact, of the UK, have put their hands in their own pockets and they are the ones that we should be applauding today. Mary Seacole sends a very important message uh, about engagement, about activism, about the contribution that black people have made over many years to the history of this country and also to healthcare. Well, it is in 2003 I launched the um, 100 Great Black Britons campaign. The public voted and they voted for Mary Seacole. And I'm proudly wearing the Victoria Cross today again, which was captured from the Crimean. It's submersible. Which, as we know, Mary Seacole went to the Crimean, make her own way to the Crimean. Crimean and look after the troops out there. So it couldn't be a better place to be today.